What's going on YouTube? So uh, you may have noticed we haven't really posted much lately. It's been a little bit slow for us. Uh, last month we actually had the best month we've ever had, but that was just more like consistent uh, daily volume type stuff. So we don't want to just, on this channel, we don't want to show you the, so on this channel, we don't really want to show you us packing orders every single day, right? Cause that's kind of repetitive. So we are going to do a better job about recording our meetings, uh, potential clients, uh, what we're doing to prepare for our move, what we're doing to bring on new clients, uh, things like that. So we'll do a better, uh, <clears throat> sorry, Daniel and I will do a better job about recording those type of clips. That way we can get you guys uh, a deeper inside look of, of what's going on. With that being said, this week, or actually today, we have a uh, sale going on for one of our clients. So what we did was we, uh, we had their pallets in the back, we moved them up to the front because it's expected to be kind of a, a higher volume type sale. So just preparing for that. We've also moved a few pallets over to our new place. Everything's kind of on, on hold right now for our move because we're waiting for our warehouse racks to be installed. So they're gonna drop off some racks today and then tomorrow they're actually gonna install the racks. So excited about that. Once those racks are installed, then we can fully, fully move everything over. Uh, we still have probably about 50 pallets to move plus our picking area and our packing area. So. We'll take a weekend to knock all that out. Won't take us long. New warehouse is about 10 minutes down the road. And uh, and yeah, so just a brief little update of, of what we've been doing. Uh, we have a lot going on. We started a new podcast, which we will introduce uh, to you guys soon. Monday, I believe, is our first episode going live. Our first <laughs> Monday, our first episode is going live. It's called Relay Radio. And our goal with that podcast is to um, just introduce people from all, all walks of life, right? Whether they're uh, business owners, social media influencers, uh, friends of ours, and um, yeah, we just interview them, talk about life, talk about business, and hopefully uh, provide some insight to the listeners. <clears throat> Other than that, yeah, we've, uh, we actually, I don't think we've talked about a new client that we recently brought in, they're called Cold Cork. Uh, we brought them in last week. We've been fulfilling for them. Uh, they have a very unique product. It is a cork that goes on top of a wine or spirit, and it actually chills the uh, chills the alcohol as it's being uh, poured. So really awesome product. We're excited to have them aboard and start fulfilling for them. Uh, only see good things for them in the future. That's a, I just summarized pretty much what we've been doing the past two weeks, all in, all in one uh, little uh, synopsis here, but uh, but yeah, so we got going on. Right, so we just got to the new warehouse and we have a little bit of a problem. All of our racks are here. There they are. But the truck, shut up, bro. The truck won't fit on our dock because it's a low bed truck. So we're trying to figure out a way around it. And I think we figured it out. Solution is, uh, thankfully we have another uh, bay on the other side of our warehouse. The initial solution was gonna be to have them back into our back area and unload here, but there's not enough space for that, so we'll just have them back into our parking lot. We'll drive out and unload. Uh, yeah, the best, best solution that we can think of. So at the moment, I don't know if you can hear all the metal cutting going on, but they are building the awning outside at the loading dock as well. So let's go take a peek at that. The only people that built a business in 2015, 2016 with social media were kind of the scammy ones. And then you had kind of like our wave where we kind of unconsciously started just building our personal brand through our content. As, as we've aged, all of these people have grown to be businessmen, right? So hopefully, right? I'd say 80%. Not all, not all. Not all, yeah. Right, yeah, 80%. And the more successful ones see the value in the friendships that you've cultivated through the seven, eight, nine years of friendships, you know? When you build a relationship like this, you don't even need to sell him on anything. You've already sold him for the past seven years of being the person that you were. So he came here, he DM'd me and was like, yo bro, 
Uh, I know you've always been good at what you do. I want to have you help me build uh, a merch brand, which in this case, it looks like two merch brands um, for his very, very successful companies. Uh, he's known as Flexible Dining Lifestyle, so Zach Rochello, been doing this for a long time. Um, and then also like Derek and I were talking about yesterday, like the fulfillment side, like we were gonna ask him at the end and he just already shot it over to us yeah. because he's like, hey, I don't, you don't need to sell me on it, you're sold. You can have all my fulfillment. And he said it perfectly. Um, and I thought this was a great way of, of saying it and how we operate is we have a pulse on the industry, which is social media backed businesses. We have a pulse on that because we come from it. We have our own businesses and we've helped build successful businesses in the, in the industry. So um, that allows us to understand the struggles that these companies are going through. And um, that's like Daniel said, one of the reasons why we started this fulfillment center, because we do have that. Uh, knowledge and understanding and <clears throat> like you said it's the personability factor um, just the the communication that we offer to our clients and uh, the ability to allow them to still feel like they have a control of their brand and to offer personalized services and things like that so that was a huge plus for him and I think he's seen that probably from watching our videos or just you know watching us on social media and seeing what we're doing and that's, like we said, one of the reasons why we're doing it. And it's really cool to, you know, see it come full circle. And like Daniel said, building those relationships, just being good to people. I mean, it goes a long way. Today is moving day. Is it official? Moving day, yeah. Moving day one of, or I guess technically this is two, but plan is to finish all right it's just uh let's get demonetized let's deep, let's fuck up our video. 15 seconds 15 seconds so anyway uh probably wondering how do we move uh an operation like fulfillment and the good thing is we keep all of our picking bins on pallets so if we have to move them like in a whim or whatever it's easy to just pull one out move it somewhere so um that's a good thing for us moving wise because we can just wrap every single pallet and load it into a truck and then move it over. So today, goal is move all of our picking bins over to the new place, move a table or two over, get set up, and then be good to go uh, tomorrow, which is Monday. Today's Sunday, we're kind of doing it. Uh, on Friday, they wrapped everything, prepped it. Today, we're moving it all. And then throughout the week, we'll move some remainder of our back stock and uh, some more of our racks. So yeah, busy day for us today. Get it done. Hispanic restaurant in the hood. Just excited, you know, this is kind of just chapter two for us. So chapter one was the inception of Relay. Chapter two is expansion. So now we focus on expanding and, you know, setting larger goals for ourselves and just keep moving on. Keep moving on. Yeah, so we can fit one more row in the back, and then all along the walls, we'll have more. We just uh, wrapped up today. <laughs> Wrapping up today, we uh, got about 70% of our old place moved into the new place. Uh, there's still just a few like overstock type stuff that isn't needed right away, but we are fully ready to go to operate out of the new place on Monday, which is honestly very, very surreal. Very, uh, got, a little, got a little emotional after we set it up and, you know, got everything uh, set up and ready to go. So, yeah, really excited. Monday, I think everybody's excited to be in there Monday. So, it's what, 7 o'clock right now? full work day we got everything moved so we crushed it I think all right it's day one day one Fernando and I are packing orders right now the warehouse looks really really good there he is there he is my man y'all miss me hey <laughs> of course they miss him it's packing orders today Derek and Daniel have a very important meeting 
which we're gonna sit on for a little bit. Sit in on for a little bit. Let's go. Sorry, uh, our baler. So yep. you put cardboard in, yep. crush this cardboard down, and then it kind of creates it, and then it'll tie it off and create a little like uh, pallet of cardboard, really condensed and then you can sell it to people who recycle it or yeah. just have recycling come yeah, pick up. So. I was very underwhelmed by that baler. <laughs> I thought it was gonna be like paper thin, but <laughs> I was wrong. This week marks our first week of fully operating out of our new facility. And I wanted to kind of do something special for the guys, get them something special for, you know, celebrating our move in. I ordered these pretty cool custom relay distribution batons. Got everyone their own individual baton. They can do whatever they want with it. Um, but yeah, I thought it would be really cool. It actually came out pretty, Pretty fucking awesome. Really excited about these. Got some little displays as well if they want to put them in their office. But, uh, but yeah, cool little uh, memento to uh, celebrate our move. Hey, come in here. I wanted to do something special to. Is the mic okay? Yeah. Are you sure? Wait. Oh, you're filming yeah. this. Oh. <laughs> Thank you all for watching this video. As you can see, this week was pretty busy for us. We moved our warehouse, got our rack set up. We're about 70% uh, moved and ready, fully operating out of the new space. Uh, we had some great meetings with potential clients, potential investors, so a lot in the works, and we're, we're super excited, super slammed, and honestly, uh, it's, it's been a wild ride. So thanks for, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe below, comment if you have any questions or, or input, and, and yeah, hope to see you in the next video.